Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Russelt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So today we are going to be learning how to create a labeled edit component dynamically. So when you create a component dynamically, you basically have to set all, all of the properties and events for this component via code. And all, yes. So let's start by doing this. We're going to be creating this component via this button and via code. So let's start. Let's add a variable called uh, then mm, labeled edit, and this is of type t labeled edit t labeled edit. Oops, edit. Okay, guys. So let's start. We say also I have a new room. And I'm testing out this microphone now for the first first time. So what's this? Yeah. Okay. So we say then labeled edit colon equals t labeled edit dot. Oh, I can't spell this thing correctly. Labeled edit dot create. So when you create this t labeled edit you it wants an owner in the brackets the owner is responsible for destroying the component so we want the form to be responsible so we give it the form name then we say then labeled edit dot parent parent will be the scroll box one because you want the um labeled edit to appear inside of the scroll box or on the scroll box you can also pause the video and read this if you want it's the difference between owner and parent in Delphi okay so let's continue then label edit dot let's just align it to top al top every time and let's actually compile this so you guys can see what this does so far as you can see that's what it currently does so let's go and say then label edit dot edit label dot caption let's give the caption let's say um dynamic labeled edit and let's say dot edit label the edit label is labeled at, at the top Okay, here we say dot font dot size, we give a size 20 dot add label dot font dot um, style, we say if is bold, and then we say okay, let's let's compile this quickly first F9, oops, it errors for the font style bold you just say t font style dot select fs bold okay then we say f9 okay, this needs to be in this i believe ah yes okay you may remove the font t font style just have this in these brackets f9 Okay, let's give it a uh, oops dot give the margin margins dot top let's give the top margin of ten to start with. Let's see how this looks. Okay now. Oh you have to say dot align with margins. You make the align with margins through. Okay, let's make that 40. This is just to actually um, let us display the label I, as you can see there. Okay, now let's go and say dot font dot size, it's the normal size of it, of the text inside of it. So Okay, let's actually also add a text hint dot text hint colon equals enter something. 
so we can compile that and we'll see now it has this text hint if we remove the margins then it just works with the edit and not the label at the top as well so that's why we added the margins at the top okay so that works now let's give it and some events let's give it an on change event okay let's go to public declarations we'll say then labeled edit and underscore on change you give it a sender the object so now you can go here to implementation and you can type procedure tfrm home dot oops yeah dot Ah, sorry, I forgot to add procedure. Is it type procedure? Or oh, is it so procedure procedure method? Dot then that on change then it creates this for us. But if you are too lazy to type this, then you can just simply um stand stand here with the cursor and press uh control shift C and it will automatically create this for you. Okay. So let's start. Um, we're gonna make it so that the um, the labels or that the scroll bars color changes every time you um, type something. So let's do that. Randomize, and if we say scroll box one dot color colon equals random, just some number, and it's as simple as that. Now we just have to assign this um, procedure to the then labeled edit by saying then labeled edit dot uh, on change colon equals this procedure and let's compile let's start typing something such as as you guys can see every time you type something the color changes okay and you can also add other events if you want to it's plenty of events but i'm just going to show you guys this so this was a basic basic tutorial on how to create a labeled edit, edit component dynamically with code so if this video helped you in any way please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos bye